All right guys, so in the last video we downloaded all of our Strava data, so why don't we just take a look at it in ArcGIS Pro and see what we can do with it. So I'm just gonna open up Pro and start a new map project. And let's just try, if I just try to drag one of these in, what's gonna happen? So we're gonna get this error. ArcGIS Pro, I guess, doesn't like to deal with GBX files. Um, so we're gonna have to use this, G, uh, this GP tool um, that converts it to a feature class. So if you just search for GPX, there's GPX to features and that's what we want. So if you just double click that and drag, for example, one of these in here and click run, this should create a feature class based on our GPX file. So there you go. We have data of where, um, where we ran. So again, this is coming from Strava. It converted a GPX to a feature class. Um, so let's just take a look at the attribute table. So you notice we have name. So this is just the comment that I made in Strava in the app when I actually did the activity. Um, we have date, time, elevation, but you notice we don't have um, like latitude, longitude, like we don't have position data. Um, so how can we do that? Um, if you, if you search for X, Y, there should be like an X, Y, add X, Y coordinates. So this adds the fields point X and point Y to the point input feature and calculates our value. So obviously this data has GP, like um, X, Y data. It's just not being shown in the um, attribute table. So we just need to run this and this will just create the fields for it. So if we click that. There you go. You can see now we have latitude and longitude. Um, so that's cool. Um, so what else can we do that's kind of cool? Um, I like to just symbolize it by like elevation. So uh, I want like a darker color for a higher elevation and a lighter color for lower elevation. So to do that, we can right click and say symbology and then we want to vary symbology by attribute. And if you click on color, now we want to pick field. So we're interested in elevation. So if I say elevation, um, I don't like that color scheme. I want like a red orange. So this one, so see, this is how it's going to be displayed. So the higher elevation values will have this like dark red. So, that's cool. That's what I wanted. So if you zoom out, you can see here it's um, darker red further away from the, this little river here. But as we get closer to the river, it's it's going down in elevation, which makes sense. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you how we could do that. So actually, before I let you go, let's go to GPX to features. So let's just try. I'm wondering if we can do this in like a batch instead of doing it one by one. Um, so no, it doesn't seem to want to allow me to pick a bunch. So I mean, this is a perfect case that we can use ArcPy for. We could have an ArcPy script that went into this directory and just ran that GP tool in every single file here uh, and, and like convert it to a shape file, for example, and then we could drag them in. Um, so I think that's what I'll do in the next video. Um, uh, there's got to be a way to, to do it like in a batch mode. Um, I'm not seeing it though. Like if you guys know how to do this, how to run it in batch mode, let me know. Because um, that would be helpful. But yeah, in the next video, I'm just going to show you how we can convert this to a shapefile um, using ArcPy in a script. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you like my stuff, please subscribe. Thanks.